हेलो वेलकम टू आर फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ वॉट द हेल नव्या सीजन टू आई एम हेयर विथ माई नानी एंड माई मॉम एंड टूडे वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट वीमेन एट वर्क Uh, the three of us are working women, and I know that there's been so much change in the way that we look at women in the workplace today. But there are a few things that still haven't changed, and that's what we want to discuss today. Uh, we're going to break some stereotypes today. We're going to talk about what our personal experiences have been, and I don't want to take up too much time. So let's jump into the first episode of What the Hell, Navya, season two. Hi, Navya. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you feeling to be back on this podcast? She's not really. She's excited. miming the rest of the show. She's <laughs> mute for the entire show. Yeah. Well, things are like looking a little different this time. We are on video. I think everyone wanted to see us. So they see a lot of me. Yeah, they do. I Every think. day, all kinds of things. <laughs> they do. And uh, I don't know about you too. They see all on social. Yeah, but posing. we've done a lot in the last one year. Who? All of us. I mean, not me so much. You did. You too You've have. You've been writing. Nani did a film. I have done whatever I do on a daily basis. So we've done quite a lot. But what do you want to do? Actually, I want to know. It's quite a deep question. What do you mean? You want to do podcast. You want to do entrepreneurial. You want yeah. to do. We do multiple things. No one is anymore just doing one thing. Young people have something called like a side hustle. Excuse me. Do you know what that is? No. Side hustle. Side Doing something on this. Side say. hustle. Yeah, it's like you have a job, a nine to five job. It could be any job, but while you do that job, you also have something on the side that you're doing. So it's like an extra stream so I of do. income. Yeah. So you're side hustling as well. Your internet sensation. Yeah. Your YouTube <laughs> sensation. <laughs> you're a meme generator. These are all legit jobs yeah, these days. Yeah, she's a Mama. meme generator. I provide uh, meals for some of the you people know, who a, do my there, memes. There's a term that's been coined <laughs> yeah. after yeah, yeah. after your meme, which is called jayaing. Which uh-huh. now people are like, when you're extra salty, yeah, it's jaya. It's like, oh, you're jayaing today. But what does it mean? Not Navya? in a very complimentary way, but no, it's okay. No, it means like you can say what you feel and not care. So you're jayaing. How do you feel about but, being a pop culture phenomenon? No, I mean I don't mind. You know, oh, keeping making she fun of mind. you no, I think or she's laughing sport. at you. No, no, she's a great sport. I don't sport. mind that. But the people who are doing the memes are so bad. They should do it properly. You should teach them. Oh, why should I teach them? Okay, well, we are supposed to talk about working women today. So we're going to start with Nani, because I also did not know this, but you produced a show called Dekh Bhai Dekh. Yeah, I produced many shows, but yes, Dekh Bhai Dekh was one of them in the nineties. So what was it about? The younger generation does not have the time to find out what their seniors did. You but haven't reached here without us. That's true. And you know, it's wonderful. To see so many women on the set, then or now? Now, but back in the day, were there? Were they not? None, except the hairdresser. Yeah, Always of course. Or the makeup artist. No, makeup artist was the man. Did you ever feel like you were treated differently because you not were the only one? Not at all. I wouldn't woman. allow. You wouldn't allow because you're that kind of person. Yes, exactly. But today you have designers, stylists, makeup artists, hairdressers, cameras, sound. All women, like for example, in our business, which is a tractor business, you see women on the shop floor making the tractors. You see women now in the marketing department. There's so much more representation of women, and, and yes. I love that. I the think younger that's... generation wants to speak, express themselves. Yeah. There was a time when they were said, "No, don't do this. Don't that do that." That was my time. Can I just say? <laughs> well, you was... were being told not to say things. Don't. Speak. But now you're making up for it by saying everything. And I definitely feel that every girl, child, or a woman has to be financially independent. Doesn't matter how much you earn. Women across India, I think they're understanding the importance of being financially independent and what that does to you as an individual. It makes you feel a lot more confident about yourself. It makes you feel secure. Why are you smiling at me? Just listening, oh. learning. 
You, I've learned that from you because mom has always said that she's always wanted me to be financially independent and that's her dream for me as as a mother that she would I said order. that Navya, you, I don't want you to get married till you have enough money in the bank to look after yourself. But Shweta, you know that there was a time when girls from poor families at a very young age started working domestic help. Yeah. yeah. While girls from wealthy families were not allowed to go out and work because it was considered you understand? That mindset has changed. Even from my own experience as a startup founder, as an entrepreneur, it's it's not just that, okay, you get funding and you have money to start your business, but there wasn't ever a community for women to just talk to each other and to just be like, this is what I'm facing. Maybe you face that. Let's share ideas, let's share, you know. No, she's not saying you personally, she's saying Victoria. I'm saying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that yeah, that this much is, English I understand. This is anyway. a place where we can learn from each other. And I think for someone like me to come out of college and say that I want to start a business was easy because I come from a very privileged background. I had the financial support of my family to start my own business. But that's not the case for a lot of other girls like you're saying because their parents put so much money into just sending them to school. They feel like they have to work for, say, five to six years to secure themselves financially, pay their parents back, and then be at a point in their life where they feel that they can take a financial risk to start a business. And that's what I want to change in the entrepreneurship space. So that women who do have ambitions to become entrepreneurs can start that straight out of life. Have you grown in have one I? year? Yeah, of course. Really? You think yes. that? Yes. Hey. She's we can't not keep praising you every day. You know day. why? That today, in our podcast... You are speaking. Yeah, I was a little in the scared last, last podcast, time. You were listening. Yeah. So women feel very apologetic when they have to. You are that woman. Am I? Yes, you are. What do you mean? You are that always like sorry, but can I? But uh, sorry, you always say the a... same, Shweta. But why do we I say? I would like to say something. I don't no, say. You say, say you're like, you're like, like may I say, say something? May I say something? At, but that's polite. No, but Navya you're is apologetic. You're I'm calling it out now. Before saying no, yes, you're not being to. polite. So I've never apologized before I say anything. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I feel like if I, I'll say something wrong or I will. No, it's okay to say something wrong. I think you. It is important to hear that I think you're wrong. Otherwise, in your mind, you're thinking, let them say what they want. I know what I'm thinking is right. That's me 24-7. <laughs> I just like keep it in my head. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm yeah, so going to say Stop doing anything. that. Okay, then I'll start expressing. Please do. Please do. I'll be oh, okay. very happy. But then happy. just know that you're going to be expressed right back to. Oh, so okay, then yeah. don't have issues with that. But please, young girls need to speak up more. Yes. First, start from in the house and then outside. They need to speak up more and be accounted for things. Yeah, I agree. And if they don't, they're not going to be accounted for it. Okay. What? Navya hasn't had any what the hell moments this episode. Yes, so far she's doing quite okay. She's speaking up, which is I great. I think we should remove hell from this. We've given all the hell that we needed to last time. Yeah. I think we should cut out the hell part of it. Please speak for yourself. Okay. You still have oh. more to give me? Of course. Okay, well, what, okay <laughs> answer a question for me then. Yeah. Do you still think there are stereotypes attached to women in the workplace? Like women are called very emotional. Getting angry, then oh, she's being hormonal and she's being emotional. But if a man was getting angry at work, they are like, oh, he's dictating. Or she's menopausing. Yeah, but or she's menopausing. Why is so. everyone looking at me? <laughs> because, because that's what you say that's all what the time. That's what you always say all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. But it's You're true. Saying this. I think those epithets are changing. Really? I, okay, you. it doesn't change for the woman. She's still going to be called hysterical, which is a negative connotation. But even men get it now. If you see a man, you'll say he's having a massive midlife crisis if they're behaving a little off-center, off-kilter. Yeah, but, you, but I don't think there's anything wrong with being emotional yes. or showing emotion. In fact, people need to show their emotions more. Maybe yeah. we'll be a healthier society. Yeah, work culture is now not about being assertive and having authority. It's about being able to express emotions. And of course, everybody would want a higher salary, but work culture is something that's really important for young no, of people of course today. it is. But a lot of people tolerate a lot of rubbish just so that they can get a higher yeah, salary. Of course they, they put can. up with a lot. Okay, but what other stereotypes do you think women at work are faced with? Yeah, but what, what, what kind of things? We have bodybuilders. 
in Olympics. Yeah, we were true. women. They're women engineers. They're women exactly. bankers. I think it's fantastic. Also, when you know, we, when India landed on the moon, yeah, there was a, a big write up about the women who made it yeah. possible. They had a picture of I think six to seven women in their saris, and they were the main scientists yes, who made yes, it happen. Yes, I mean, both I have tremendous respect for both women who's putting a machine together. I think it's because maybe. Uh, don't get irritated, but maybe you can't put a machine together. No, I so can't. you are like, wow, look at that person. No, I have a respect because it was a man's field. It was a man's job. Yeah. And women have gone into that. I have tremendous respect for that. I think your family supporting the work that you do is so important because there are a lot of families that don't support maybe a certain profession that their child wants to enter into and that I think it's a safety aspect where you keep very late hours or unusual hours you know it's not safe at night when it starts becoming safe then women will start doing these jobs where you traditionally feel they're not safe where they have to keep late hours or they have to travel alone or travel in public transport. Okay, but despite women working, being in positions of power, do you still think that they have an equal say at the table? I don't Why? think they have an equal enough say. They have a say, but it's not equal enough. I have a of different course. theory to that. Okay, what is it? My theory is that a lot of the decisions that are being made, whether it's about the home, whether it's about the family, or whether it's about even something as simple as buying a new fridge, that decision is going to be taken by the woman in the family, not the man. So I said because the budget still say, comes from the man. Yeah, but he's going to ask her. In a traditional conventional what, setup, you, you are have running to the ask. home. Nani is running the home. You are running the home. I I, I don't have to ask anybody. No, I know, but I'm but saying that I am different. I'm privileged, Navya. Yeah, but I, I still think that uh, a lot the of the men those in my house don't think like this. A lot okay, of the, I want to say something. Say there is a lady who's a clerk in a bank or in an office. Would she have? A say. Yeah, she probably would. No. If it's a dual income home? No. She's putting no. in as much money? She can put in money, but she doesn't have. Shweta? Maybe. I, I think you're right. But that's what I'm trying to understand. She won't. Why? Because until and unless we change the mindset of the society, yeah. this is not going to happen. I'm saying that let's remove the three of us and get people, three women who are working as clerks or as uh, peons or as... Uh, call them. But yes. I... Why are you nodding your head? I'm just agreeing with everyone. Why? You don't have any opinions? Well, I have. Lots. There's no fighting Lots today. There's no disagreement. It's all going uh, very smoothly. Yeah. No, 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 no. Lots of opinions. But it's just day one. Give us time. Okay, but as uh, since we're talking about work and women at work, being a mom is a full-time job. But do you think that society and our culture in general looks at that as a full-time job? It's not given any elaborate respect. more, please. Huh? It's Our not society. given any respect. It's just something you're supposed to taken do. for granted. Completely taken for granted. But if you stop housewifing, what's going to happen to your home? Everyone's yeah. lives are going to go helter skelter. But it's 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 a very integral job. But no one even writes it as your occupation in a form. Yeah, of course they don't. Because but people most are responsible job. You're doing HR. You're doing finance. You are. You're doing uh, negotiation, marketing, management, day-to-day -day management. You're deadlines. And you're basically running a mini baker. business plus shaping minds of people. But do because you I, yes, think that that job or that role of being a mother is a thankless job? It is a thankless but job. Navya, you are my biggest example. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm very grateful for everything. You can be you grateful do. in your head, but how often? Maybe once on Mother's Day, you'll pull out some picture and put it on Instagram, you know, but. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Okay, yeah, now we have a game. Oh God! <laughs> I know I'm you like games. Too old for games, Navya. No, you are playing games all day on your phone. How dare you say this? What is your favorite game on your phone? Tell everyone. Solitaire and word. She had a Ludo moment. <laughs> she had a major Ludo moment. Going under an alias yeah. and all that. And the alias was JB. As if anyone <laughs> ever figured that one out. That was the alias. Okay, so the game is what would you choose? So I'll give you two options and you have to pick. Okay, so would you rather come early to office and leave early or come late and leave late? No, I will come early and leave, leave early. early. You will be coming late. Late and, and leaving late. late. I thought it was a game. What is this? It's just a... Anyway, next. Would you rather have your colleagues or your co-workers as your 
friends or just as co-workers? Co-workers. You don't want them to be your friends. No. No, I would want them yeah, to be I my friends. Yeah, I mean, I no would. one's asking me. I think I, I, uh, I work better if my co-workers are my friends. Yeah, you are quite popular with your ADs. You know why? I hate these young children who come as ADs being bullied by stars. I cannot handle it. Yes. Should you bully your own children? Also? Yes, of course I can. No, you can't. Of course I can. <laughs> work from home or work at the office? Office. I would be distracted at home. I would work from the office. I would also work from the office. No, but no, no, but like this, I've been trying to get like you out this, of my house. Let's say get an office. Gets I you, think I'm more no. efficient at home. Weirdly. Next. Uh, a Kharu's boss and great colleagues or a great boss and Kharu's colleagues? Kharu's boss and great colleagues. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think I would also. Yeah, Kharu's because you have to hang out with hang the out colleagues, with colleagues more. Yeah. I've Imagine. never had a boss, so I don't oh. know. All right. You are the boss. <laughs> you are the boss. Okay. <laughs> I am. Thanks. That was the end of my... After saying I apologize for asking questions. Yes, I am the boss. Yes, she <laughs> is, but that's true. She's she her is. own boss. She is. As long as I'm alive, I will be. Yeah, you must. You're a great boss. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. So now it's time to segue into Tira Talks. And our question for today is, Mom and Nani, have beauty standards in any way impacted your career paths? Not mine. I, I don't think mine either. Like, this is not really the question, but do you think that beautiful women are not considered, say, serious in business or not in anymore. workplace? And because they're beautiful, that they should only do one kind of job and not another kind of job. Not anymore. No, not necessarily. Not so many people are like, oh, you're so pretty, you should be an actress. As if, like, beautiful women can only be actresses and only be But models that's how it used be. to be. No, that I get that a lot. Is. I get that a lot. Oh. People are always like, oh, you should <laughs> become an actress. I mean, I'm not <laughs> praising myself. You know I'm what she's saying. trying to say. I'm trying to say that. What the hell, Navya? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that you want to compliment yourself. No, I don't do think it bravely. So. I think so much it's okay. More. Can no, I? I can was... I please yes, talk? Yes, you can talk. Crying out loud, you guys. Yes, you can um, talk. I think in at least even in the fashion world, you try to incorporate different skin tones today. You try to incorporate different sizes, and I think it's incredible because you know when you're looking at something, and you're not conventionally blonde or you don't have a chiseled jaw. It's so nice to see that. Just being represented. Viewed. So yeah, I think beauty beauty standards have uh, broadened their horizons. Yeah. Today, the beautifully called is not beauty. Yes, you can have an interesting face. Um, and a personality. I mean, I'm not a conventional looking person at all. I'm not. I'm uh, not a conventional. I don't have like a petite nose and whatever. But I'm I'm comfortable in my skin at now my age. But a young girl is not going to be comfortable in her skin. And I'm so happy that the beauty industries are making an effort to make her feel comfortable because that's where it starts. Yeah. That's my thought on it. That was a great answer. Thank you both for giving me two minutes to (laughs) to make my opinions known. That was a great answer. Thank you very much. You are always giving your opinion. And nobody's ever... Why you didn't give today so many opinions? Yeah. Because a lot of the topics you were talking about, I was uneducated on. I didn't want to open my mouth and sound like an idiot. You're not, you're not sounding like one. You're very smart. And your opinion is very valued. Okay. That's all I have to say for today. Thanks. Well, Good. that's that. She's my strength. Oh. Thanks, mother. What about me? She is. Yes. She is. I know she More than my son, other. she's my strength. She said oh, that the other day. Yes. Thank you. Sweet. That's sweet. I don't, I don't know, know whether because she's yesterday. a woman, but she's my strength. And mine too. Oh, thanks guys. All right then. Very strong women <laughs> in this room. <laughs> that was a great ending. Okay. Thanks. So that was episode one for you guys. I personally have had a lot of fun being back with Nani and mom and talking and laughing and fighting and having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. 
I think my takeaway from today was definitely that women, especially all of us, especially the women I'm here with today, have just been chosen to be unapologetically ourselves. And I think that that's something really great and empowering. I have so much respect for so many amazing women who are running businesses, working, breaking barriers every single day. And if you are some of them, then please share some of your stories with us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this and we're going to be back with a lot more episodes and a lot more fun on What the Hell Navya Season 2. A big thanks to Tira for making this happen. And if you haven't checked them out, you can on tirabeauty.com. You can download their app or visit the nearest store. So we'll see you next time. Little bit of fighting. Little bit of laughter. And a little of arguing. What the hell? Navya bashing. Little bit of fighting. What the hell? What? She's running with the one for you. I'm like, what the hell is she doing?